This is Dan Jeffers with Talus Trusted Cyber Technologies. Today, I'm going to give you an introduction to our Luna credential system and our UiPath integration. So the first thing I want to show you is that we have a client machine that is running UiPath Robot, and it's set up to talk to uh, Talus TCT Luna H, specifically at LCS HSM. And so uh, anytime you set up communication between a machine and the HSM, you have uh, a secure NTLS connection. And so in this particular case, you have, um, looks like seven or eight different credential bins or partitions on the HSM that this workstation uh, is able to talk to. And so in LCS, we have a credential directory. And um, basically what that is, is that's a mapping. And so you have a mapping with a unique identifier that is asserted in a certificate to a specific um, bin or partition on the HSM. And that's where the key material and the PKI certificates reside for each individual bot. So looking at this view a little bit different, I'll show you um, what it looks like from the HSM. And we have a number of partitions here on our HSM, more so than we're available over here because we're only authorized to use a subset of these partitions. Um, so if you look at the content of any particular credential bin, you can see that we have three objects. So we have a private key, we have a public key, and then we have an X step. Dot 509 certificate from an organizational PKI. And so um, that's what is used for authentication, whether it's smart card logon authenticating to a domain controller, or if it's um, PKI based authentication to a back end website. And so, just to give you one more view here, you can see that. Um, we have this certificate that has been assigned uh, to RPA001 by one of our lab CAs here. Um, and in a production environment, this could be DOD PKI or another federal PKI. So I wanted to give you the view there of what it looks like um, behind the scenes. And we'll back out of here and show you what it looks like through a smart card logon type interface. So most of you are familiar with uh, username and password authentication, right? You have a standard password tile uh, in the federal government and also a lot of contractor machines. You'll also see a, a rectangular smart card tile here. And in the case of a, of a live user sitting there, they'll have a smart card where they insert the smart card. They put in a pen to authenticate to the smart card. And from then on out, they can use the key material to be able to do certain crypto operations, whether it's a challenge response, whether it's signing, encryption, decryption, um, all the things you use PKI for. So what we've introduced here is this Luna credential tile. And this Luna credential tile allows you to use a uh, LCS HSM essentially as a smart card. So this particular bot will put in a credential bin password just like I showed you on the other screen. And from then on out, it can use its credential and it can do authentication to the domain controller and get onto the network. So I wanted to show you what that looked like briefly because once we get into the UiPath integration, it, it happens really fast behind the scenes and you're not gonna be able to see it. So moving over to our UiPath environment, we have um, an orchestrator here um, that is configured to talk to two different machines. For the purposes of today's demo and session, we're using this Windows Server 2016. We also have four robots that are available. Um, for use and we'll, we'll show you the robots in action here in a minute. One of the new things that we've added in LCS 2.0 and, and some of the later versions of uh, UiPath is that um, we have the ability here to create uh, additional credential store. So in addition to the orchestrator database, we've set up this LCS HSM Luna Vault. So any passwords, credential bin passwords, you know, which are essentially the smart card pin for these bots, they get stored securely in the Luna Vault 
which is tied into Orchestrator. Uh, if you look over here at Assets, we've defined this workflow credential. This workflow credential is in our credential store, and that's what we call when we do a Git credential in our studio project. So when we are writing processes, we are able to use this Luna Vault um, with this workflow credential, and you can make common credentials or you can tie them specifically uh, to individual individual credentials that are tied to specific bots. So um, if you go here to processes, we have a number of processes defined. Uh, we, we have two that we're going to show today. We have a PDF digital signing process, and then we have a uh, LCS web authentication where it basically uses Internet Explorer to get to a, a mock DoD website. Uh, if you go up here, you know, when we define a job and you, you can you could also do this some triggers and do something, um, you know, automated, whether it's the same time every day or every hour or, uh, you know, some kind of event like a new email coming in. But for the purposes of this demo, we're going to launch a manual process. Um, I'm going to select this PDF signing one first. Uh, we're going to assign it to a robot, and then I'm going to hit start. And before I hit start, let me get this out of the way a little bit. So I'm going to hit start, and what's going to happen, because it, it happens kind of fast, and I'll try to talk through it as it's going, but what's going to happen is it's going to do a smart card log on uh, to the machine and the domain controller. It's going to uh, open up a web page, uh, whs.mil. It's going to grab a PDF. It's actually going to go to a UiPath challenge uh, Excel spreadsheet that UiPath has made available. It's going to parse data from that randomly and uh, start populating the data, and then it's going to do a PDF signing operation. So it happens kind of fast, but we'll see here. So we're going to hit start. We have our command sent. If I go back over here to our client machine, you can see RPA001 to the smart car authentication. We go to our WHS mill site, grab this PDF. And now it's going and parsing the data from the challenge Excel spreadsheet, putting in today's date, grabbing some data, populating it. And then you'll see uh, with the red ribbon down there, there's a box that's going to take a signature. So RPA001 is going to continue. It's going to sign. It prompts for our LCS um, LCS password for the uh, credential bin, and then we signed the PDF. And it happened really fast, so you know we could show you again outside of Orchestrator, so you can see a little bit slower. So I want to give a shout out to Lewis uh, from UiPath who did most of the development, or I guess all of the development on that particular process, uh, helped me get that together over a number of uh, go to meeting sessions or zoom sessions so i'll go a little bit slower here uh, we'll launch it from the uh, robot tray so this is doing the same thing it's just a different way to run it but it'll give you a little bit more visibility on what the signature looks like at the end So it starts filling out the form, today's date. Goes here to sign it. The LCS partition password prompt comes up. This is where we use our credential pin. And now we have a signed PDF. So I wanted to show you this way just because uh, I think our delay is a little bit um, fast on the orchestrator one. But you can see that this has a, a PKI uh, signature that uses that credential that's stored securely on our LCS HSM. So let me close out of here. And we'll log out one more time. And I'll show you uh, what our web authentication use case looks like. So coming back to Orchestrator, we start another job. Uh, at this time, we're going to select our web authentication process. 
And um, what's going to happen here is when I hit start, it's going to do a smart card log on authentication using the LCS HSM credentials. It's going to uh, open up a couple web pages. So the first web page is going to open up is talistct.com, which is a normal public unauthenticated web page. Then it's going to go to uipath.com, same thing, uh, on an unauthenticated web page. And then it's going to go to a secure website that we've built in the lab. And uh, it's that, that lab website requires um, client authentication for mutual TLS. Uh, the bot will be able to select its credential um, and put in its LCS partition password or um, credential bin password and authenticate successfully to our, our mock uh, DoD website. So here we hit start, we see the command's been sent. Smart card logon occurs. Internet Explorer gets launched. It goes to talistct.com, goes to uipath.com. And then here we go to our secure website. And so you can see that it prompts the bot for a certificate to present. The bot presents its certificate. It's going to use the vaulted uh, password to, to enter its partition password here, its credential bin password. And here we've successfully authenticated to a DoD web, web page. In this case, it's a, it's a mock Navy page. So hopefully that gives you an overview of, of LCS and um, how it can be used to do strong multi-factor authentication to DoD websites or federal websites. Um, also, smart card log on to the network and how it can be integrated with UiPath um, to be able to uh, really give the bot strong multi-factor authentication.